Understanding rugged beauty, a dive into descriptive English phrases. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore the phrase, rugged beauty. This is a common expression in the English language, often used to describe a type of attractiveness that is not conventional but striking and memorable. Let's dive into what makes this phrase unique and how you can use it effectively in your own conversations. The phrase, rugged beauty, is made up of two words, rugged and beauty. Rugged generally refers to something rough, uneven, or natural, often associated with landscapes or physical appearances. On the other hand, beauty is a term we're all familiar with, representing attractiveness, appeal, or aesthetic pleasure. When combined, these words create a contrasting image that captures attention. To understand rugged beauty better, let's look at some examples. Landscapes. A mountain range with harsh, uneven features can be described as having rugged beauty. People. Someone with a strong, unconventional look, maybe with facial scars or an athletic build, can also be described as possessing rugged beauty. Art. Artwork that highlights natural roughness or imperfection, like a sculpture carved roughly from wood, can embody this concept. Now, let's put rugged beauty into practice. Here are some sentences. 1. The rugged beauty of the Scottish Highlands took my breath away. 2. He admired her rugged beauty, which was so different from the polished looks of magazine models. 3. The painting captured the rugged beauty of the rural landscape perfectly. Why do people use this phrase? Rugged beauty celebrates qualities that are natural, unrefined, and authentic. It's about finding beauty in the imperfections and embracing a more holistic view of what is attractive. And that's rugged beauty for you. It's a wonderful example of how English can use contrasting ideas to create powerful descriptions. I hope this video helps you appreciate and use this phrase more effectively in your English conversations. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lesson.